Need the initial stun, there it is, with the Frostbite, follow-up one, follow-up two, and this should be the first blood. So, great start for Newbie, even giving it to Astro C, this is so, so big. I cannot, I cannot under, understate. Try not to be too mean. Yeah, so far so good. I want to say the newbie is getting more of, out of these lanes. Unless Astro C just, okay, just gets a solo kill. Why not? In flame, slightly misjudging his strength there with the refraction charges. One more likely would have been enough for him to get the kill first, but he, super efficient play here. Astro C. Meanwhile, Demons still just uh, trying to snag some of these creeps. Got one of the small ones, so that's nice. Already level two, and oh god. Ah, Kaka making a rotation, cool. I did not see that. So Lifestealer match up earlier, and how Ursa kind of claws through the Lifestealer. And we're starting to get into the realm, but that's a real possibility. Early on the laning phase, it's not really the case, but once Ursa has a couple of points and fewer swipes and you overpower, then you gotta have to start watching out. As long as Kaka sitting around here, yeah, actually Centaur Storm sets up for the uh, for the impale. Lumen Blast comes through, Spike Carapace just, uh, just to dodge that and U9 gets the kill. So the neutral creeps very active. Region rings from the side job. Now finishing up the Tranquils. You, oh, what is going on here? Kaka. Going on Spike Carapace, but he should still end up falling. Not before throwing out another stun. One race, two race. Everybody race, race. Faith also making an appearance here with Frostbite on Zap. And with the extra reckless rest, triple C, um, almost enough. Here, slow coming through. And another long range race. There it is. S triple C with a double kill, just like that. Kaka gives his life for it, but definitely worth it once again. I mean, not counting that one. Flyby, yeah. He should end up falling here. Papa's ultimate here to take care of the frostbite and nicely line up uh, with the. Uh, Impale though. And actually need to kill him. Come on guys, there you go. There we go. Once again, give it to the Shadow Friend. And yeah, it's 700 gold away from him. <clears throat> he can walk in for a war stomp if he wants to. And now a bit of a slow, they've got the dust already. Just need a couple of right clicks and Spike Carapace saves him for now, but one more right click will do the trick and there it is. Kaipi without a stampede for another five seconds. Alright, protection just yet, so it's CDC actually, once again, set up with some good intelligence just by inflame camping here. Now Step makes his way through here, and yeah, just roared up Faith. Kaka revealed himself at the same time, but now he finds himself surrounded by three heroes. Stampede will keep him safe, meanwhile. Yeah, that's triple C, just exchanges. Walking forward, but trying to go for the body blocks. Need a couple more right clicks to finish it off, and Kaka is slightly faster, so he'll be able to secure that. Spike Carapace is locking down further. Meanwhile, the Blink Stomp on two. They take care of the Ursa right away, as well as the Necro Creeps on the Beastmaster. Some extra gold in their pockets. And that's another double kill for the Shadow Fiend. 7 0 EDC. You don't really have a lot in terms of control. They do have the Troll Net, they do have the Raw. That's about it. Everything else you can run away from, unless you can get the Doom on Kaipi. KP, Kaipi, whatever. Ah, oh, there it is. And Flame wants to try and go for Faith. If they get some Frostbite off though, follow up Stomp. Couple of right clicks here, and they will finally decide to trigger the Aegis Doom. On to Center Warner, so no Stampede for now. Raw comes through. Faith might still not falling with Flybats going in. And now it's looking for Astro C. Manistar will keep him safe. Now pops the ultimate just for zones. And extra slows. Even gets a kill with it still. And now KP, well, might be doomed up, but he can still tank some right clicks. Throws down the control and in flame. No triple kill, first triple C in the end. Yes, that will be able to TPL, yeah. Stomp just coming off cooldown now. Yubi, just make this look easy. 10 0 0 now. Still not a signal to do something crazy. Looks like they might be uh, looking to cut off someone and retreat, but CDC moving as a single unit. Now Raw up in the high ground, fly both the follow up, but Frostbite stopping from right for the time being. And now Faith with the ultimate stun on absolutely everybody! Follow up from KB with a blink! Oh no, CDC, what have you done? Oh my god! Ugh. That wasn't even set up by a vacuum, but it was a four-man stun from Kaka.
Kaka misses the stun. All right, gonna try it for that one. Oh, they actually find U9. He was invisible, I believe. So it runs right into the sentry ward. And now, throwing out everything, but he infests into the necro creep. He's still alive. He's gonna not gonna be able to consume a lot of health points though. So he will fall. Fly base BKB will end. Links in for a couple of right clicks and uh, raises from S Triple C. So that's over. Faith also doesn't die until Flame comes back in, but that was just a bait. That was not worth it at all. The Crystal Maiden for a PA, and, and why not add another hero to the fray and another one? I, yeah, I think CDC have given up already. That was just a casual chain feed. As Triple C with another triple kill, very reliable way to get rid of the uh, this arm. But still, it's just way too little, way too fancy. So another war comes out on the Shadow Fiend. Once again, they run into the Invis. But this time around, the Stampede will still keep him safe. Fly by with another blink forward here, but the right clicks are there. Pops and Rage should try and get this kill. He really wants it, and he will get it too. Kaipi should be able to finish it off, perhaps, if he can get close enough, but in flame and set up of other plants. <laughs> Stands down the middle, there's no detection available for anybody. We have to try and chase down some of these other heroes. Sep looks to be the one. It's Kaka. Oh. It did spot him out. And they get him! Just in time, too. Trying to go for the blink, blink TP. Almost enough time to channel it completely. But all of that was to straight up lose it again. The old Scepter. Gonna try to put on some pressure. But a Doom comes out as June reveals the Shadow Blade. Or we revealed it before, but first time I noticed it. Stampede? Frostbite and everything else, just to make sure that the flame can follow up on the Kaka, who's now will have his doom uh, over. <laughs> and didn't quite land a stun, didn't throw it out even, so he does die to the right clicks, but. Well, no BKB or anything this time, they have a sentry, and that's an easy secondary kill on the Aegis Carrier. Let's see if we can mask in this inventory in the uh, Reaver. <coughs> Reaver. In this quick buy. Kaipi looking for Blink. Blink Raw is coming through here on uh, to the Crystal Maiden, so that's not fun. But they do get the float on the flyby, forcing him to pop the BKB Stampede to keep up with him. And they should be able to finish up the kill with just a couple of right clicks and rage. Try and keep him alive with another Blink. Another couple of slows come through, and look at this September. Way too far forward as SCCC makes an appearance, shows off, hey, I've got items. I am strong, and yeah, they realize it too. There's no coming back from this with these heroes. And they call the GG, just 30 minutes in. Just once again, goes to show that Newbie is a very strong team in China right now. And uh, CDC definitely have to pull out something different. They need to get more control. They need to have a draft with fail safes because none of the lanes really worked out. I mean, starting with uh, this great first blood. Uh, there you go, that's right only. It's... Top lane is a bad one. Also, one of these heroes that we uh, see a whole lot of in uh, the Chinese scene right now he hasn't skilled anything yet, just puts a point into your product shield now. Ready to defend himself. But... Oh god. I didn't even see his icon there. <laughs> so this is a bit of trial and they to take control of this particular side pull. Kaipi is still in experience range, is a fresh creep wave. A perfect position for him. So, god what? I need to pay my attention, I'm sorry guys. Detours, flame, etc. There's a ward here, there's ops ward on the high ground. So it's rather freshly placed and it does keep tabs on Kaka, which is super useful of course. Wait, that's an that's a radio ward, never mind. Forget it, forget what I just said. Ugh. Some of my thoughts was dire. Uh, what? Okay, solo kill. How is that even possible? Meanwhile, mid, that's the first kill we actually see here in Flame. Gets jumped on by Kaka. He might actually get the counter kill in. Flame is not even dying here. S triple C, not enough damage or shrapnel charges. And now Demon just walks up. 
Go for a slow, an extra hook into the lift, so that's a second hero going down. Flame is bold enough to make his way back. Uh, he will have to join his team and uh, try it up more than likely. If it was up, but it's not for another two minutes. Sans is just very, very bold right now. Let's triple C has another shotgun shot. Could have thrown that out. What the? It isn't even Omni Slash, it's just him walking up to die. Can't even blame you for that one. It shouldn't happen. Yeah, Kaka wasn't there, he still has plenty of mana left. So he didn't even spring in on that one. Now he might try and spring in mid. Demons though, he's smoked up. He also has an arcane rune, which is not nice. Uh, bad news for SCCC here. Now slow down, the hook will miss somehow. And the flame actually dies now with Kaka making an appearance. Demons, nice little Q. Found the strike, but SCCC once again, quite with enough damage on target. But with the help from Faith, they will be able to secure the Rubik. The hook will miss again. Kaka, not the, <laughs> not the arcane aura now. Faith probably looking for the third one pretty damn soon until uh, when he hits level five. Yeah, bottom lane that is all right. This makes a little bit more sense just with the Omni Slash, but still not something that should have happened. You sh should know when you need something to help you along the way at this point because the score line is seven and one. And this is not going to help you if they can get this kill. As Triple C actually gets hooked, so it was a bait, or was it? Yeah, Demon should be able to put on enough damage. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, As Triple C actually gets himself a double kill. Now turning out from the flame. Just realizing he's probably not going to walk out of there. So just trying to set it up. One right click, not missing up hills. So CM is getting something for herself. Let's see you see. Can keep going. You, you have a Pudge on your team who's 1-2-1. One, and one. And that's just not enough impact. Yeah, this will happen. Caught this by accident just because it was so, so quickly. But Kaka with a bit of a setup and then you know coming out. Keeping an eye on this. Jump coming through. Ultimate. In that and a couple of right clicks here as well. Kaka just uses the ultimate for it and this will be enough to secure the kill. Nice little fissure there actually blocking him in. Follow up control from Zep and he's not even getting the kill though. Oh god. It's trying to go worth almost at the 11 minute mark and this is a big deal. This is a really, really big advantage to have this early. Bottom lane, extra fights and this time around September does not have a TP scroll. Kaka gets himself the kill. Snacks it away from U9. You can play around that. Of the guaranteed thing that you can actually get it now. Another Wukong's command here. FPS command, I should say. Some round though, Kaka not having as much help from his teammates who just got took down. Yeah. Oh, Lion Strong actually there by U9. He wants to fight. He does have level 1 Omni Slash still and might be able to use it on June. Gets the healing ward, throws it out. Nice defensive hook here actually to block out the Omni Slash. The healing ward will keep him safe. Meanwhile, here around to where the tower used to be. September just dies and blink away from Astro C and fly by now. Slowed down by the Curse of Vernus and Shrapnel and everything. Another defensive hook here. Ultimate there on June. Should end up falling this one and he will. Uh, Life Steel just ends up infesting into demons for free ride. Barely able to survive this one. Meanwhile, mid though, TP out on Venomart. Uh, Faith drops his ultimate. A little bit too late to bring out the damage. Chinese really like to go for this item on their head. Now Kaka Smoke will break here. See a couple of heroes and triple stun. Follow up with the Omni Slash and Flame gets his ultimate off, but then he dies. Ah. Uh. Actually gets sniped in the back here, fly by making an appearance. Now Kai P pops his own ultimate. Thanks up the tower a little bit. Now uh, the Wukong's command saving you 9 barely, but he's still taking out to the, um, uh, to the to poison. Just enough to bring him down. Kaka's there to carry. Fly by walks into Wukong's command as it expires. 4 for 3 trade, actually very good for CDC. The way that worked out. And this started with a pretty good initiation for Newbie. Triple stun into Omni Slash into like uh, into the Primal Spring. Venagor's ultimate off. 
that's led to the kill on Juggernaut just being traditional. Just ward spam, get your ultimate off, whatever the cost kind of Venno. You know, top September is dead. Goodbye. Bash it on the cock already, so that's pretty damn strong. Meanwhile, Rubik, not sure what he was doing there. To be quite honest with you. With the head or behind, I suppose. Meanwhile, up top, from Spring will barely miss you with the slow. Demons teeping in. Maybe he can find Hook, but... Oh, ho, ho, Kaka. Gets hooked down, I believe. He's still got his ultimate off, and it's took so much damage here to Demons in June. Demons will actually be able to knife himself. Nice Fissure here as Flyback comes in. But the bashes are real. <laughs> Keeping Kaka alive. His monkey friends, and now ultimate on step in the back. Enough to bring him down while the Omni Slash finishes off Flyby, and... Newbie somehow. Able. Oh, nice little hook out here. Normally slash available, but he will be able to spin away. Slow coming through, but now Wookiee's command from the back. Making me lag. June just ends up falling immediately. And oh no, Van oh, what? I was down here, but still made me lag up here. Oh no, that was Rubik's stolen command, wasn't it? I was so confused. So confused. That hook lands somehow. We do get the abandon. Doesn't have his ultimate, so that's a nice little kill. Kaka also dies on bottom to something. But the fight still rages on here, and the rest of Newbie still very strong. Somehow he denies himself through shrapnel and spin. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell is going on? How is that even possible? Ah. Uh, no god, June. <laughs> that is. Poor guy. Three three right clicks and an ultimate just to kill him. While we're standing behind his team with the spells. And uh, we'll be able to finish him off right the hell now. Blink forward. Don't get that initial stun. But they still get the kill regardless. But Sniper's right there. Shrapnels. Ultimate. Not sure what the Curry's doing there. Uh. Dying, I guess. Didn't walk away, and invis and enraged. Well, that's triple C, still doing his best. So just blinking away from Logan. Nothing too crazy, and now Wukong's command comes out on top of the Oni Slash. You fly back, she just ends up dying immediately. This Monkey King ult, will zone the rest of CDC away. Another hook, this time actually <laughs> hits on S triple C here as Kaka gets out of the way. They should be able to finish off demons here. Shrine keeps him alive for now, but now he already uses the Hurricane Pike. S triple C might actually end up dying. He's still on a tier 4, September with the lockdown. Now flyby as well. Do get that kill, and now newbie starting to fall apart. He four heroes in total taking a spill. They only lost the range racks after all, eh? Didn't actually you know, decide to put damage on the melees. So that is a huge turnaround for CDC. 3.8k gold swing. So maybe just something like a Scotty, but there's a bit of teamfight here. They do find Earthshake up on the high ground. Monkey King hooked away. Follow up control from Demons. And Kaipi is there though. And the Omni Slash coming through. They get one. Lose the Monkey King, but they get the counter kill on the Pudge. Now, maybe a little bit more faith with this live. Now, instant infest into Shadow Blade. No. <laughs> oh, shit, goes also has a Shadow Blade, by the way. Just saying. Just saying. They will find Kaka. They will be able to burst him down instantly. Great kill, and this time around, they'll also be able to make their way out of there. No one ready to respond from newbie. You know, we're kind of flaming the Shadow Blades, but so far, they've been working. I don't, uh, don't think there's a gem on anybody. They definitely might want to think about one. Abaddon has the Radiance though. That's what he put his Midas money into. Uh, Pudge ends up dying there, but mid lane S2C is actually in a lot of trouble here. A flyby gets it all, four stuff away. Slow attempted from June, but now it's actually, as he exposed himself, he should end up falling. And he does, as he cannot get out of shrapnel. No ultimate here, just to... Uh, bit of chip damage to fly by, and also slow him down a tiny amount. Die Courier dies somehow. But Rage TP, nothing to cancel the favor. Mid lane, of course, naturally is pushing in slightly. Top lane being pushed by Inflame, but Kaka, well, throws on the ultimate, says hello, and uh, goodbye. 
not messing around at all. And now a couple of TPs to help push that support lane out. So Newbie is just trying to take control, but CDC has other plans once again. September with Shadowblade and Blink at the ready and looking for the wraparound here. Rubik gets initiated on U9, shows himself, he needs one more right click here, actually finishes off with a spin on the invis. Now he's up against three heroes in total. Still as Yomi Slash throws it out, turns to September and gets a kill. Flyby. Will be able to man fight now, especially if they can get rid of that healing ward and they can. U9 still alive actually, focuses on the <laughs> focuses on a punch and now as the rest of his team comes in to help. They turn it into a full five man. They're winning that big team fight in mid when Nubi kind of overextended. Focusing more on kills and on trying to put on more damage on the racks. But as it stands, they're still operating on a wholly different level. And uh, looking at Stanks now, they should be at ten, uh, 11 and 3 with CDC. That's 3 and 9 right now. So it's. Um, dreams of playoffs. Far, far away.